Tonight, Celtic music returns to the Auditorium Theater with Billboard's number one world music artist of the year, Celtic Woman. The group has been in Rochester many times, this time around celebrating their 20th anniversary and their newest member. The latest singer to join Celtic Woman is Emma Warren, and she joins us this morning via Zoom. Emma, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on this gig. This has got to be great. What does it feel like to be welcomed into such a well-established group, an organization, uh, you know, that's really become a staple for a lot of people? Hello, thanks for having me on. Yes, it's amazing to join Celtic Woman. Honestly, I was a bit nervous at first, as it is such a well-established group, as you say, but everybody from cast to crew like welcomed me in with open arms and those nerves melted away almost straight away it's been just the most amazing experience so far so your accent is lovely tell us a little bit about your background how did you first get your start yeah so i'm from dublin in ireland that's the accent and um my mom and dad are both in music my dad is a singer and my mom is an irish dancer so i grew up being surrounded by all of that and they encouraged it as I grew up which was amazing because they they allowed me to pursue this career so yeah I'm thrilled to be here in the states with Celtic Woman now. What is it about the Celtic music I mean obviously there's there's uh, uh, genealogy attached to this but what is it about the Celtic music specifically why not uh, the genre of pop for you or opera for you is there something that that drew you to this? Oh, I think there's something so lovely about Irish music and being from Ireland, getting to travel around and bring a little bit of our home country with us everywhere I go. There's nothing like that. I mean, I have dabbled in other genres of music, don't get me wrong, but I always get drawn back to the Irish music. There's just something about it. It's so catchy and the music in Celtic Woman, it's timeless. Everybody, especially here in the States, really connect to it and i think that's what keeps bringing us back which is so special now before you joined celtic woman had you ever seen any of their performances can you hear me sorry i can hear you yeah but before you joined celtic woman had you seen any of their performances did you see any of their shows <laughs> I watched a lot of their specials on TV. They would be shown at home in Ireland on PBS. Um, so I had seen a lot of those specials and had followed their music for a long time. Of course, listened to their CDs as well at home. Um, so to be singing the iconic songs that I once listened to growing up is like truly special. And we even speak about this in the show. Like it's, yeah, it's a dream come true to get to be a part of it now. Now, the catalog of music you all perform when you take the stage is, is really wide and it varies greatly. Is there, are there specific yeah. songs that, that you like more than others? Oh, that's a tough question. I like them all. <laughs> yes, that's um, a very yeah, diplomatic no, answer. I want the real answer. <laughs> no, I'll give you a real answer. Um, there's definitely ones that people connect to a little bit more. You know, that's always the way. That's what's great about music. There is something for everyone. But um, there was a little clip there of our newest release, I Know My Love. That one is so fun to perform each night. I do love that one. Um, there's another one, Shannon. <clears throat> Shannon, it's called. And it was that is a new piece written by our new musical director, Brian Byrne, and his wife, Casey Jones. And that is stunning. It's a duet myself and we're and get to sing together. So that's very special. And then, of course, you have, sorry, you probably wanted one answer. but No, <laughs> give it all of course, to me. Then you have, like, Danny, <laughs> Danny Boy, Amazing Grace, all of the original, like, great songs that, you know, everybody knows and loves. Now, working so closely with, uh, uh, I imagine it's a, it's a very tight-knit group, what has been the best part for you personally? Is it, is it the touring, the life on the road? Is it the music? Is it the audiences? Is it uh, the fact that you're, you're a part of such a well-established, great company? What is it for you? 
Sorry, could you just repeat the start of that question? Please? Yeah, absolutely. What what is it about performing with Celtic Woman uh, that that really you know drew you in? Is it the life on the road, the touring? Oh, is it is yeah. it the 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 women you get to sing alongside? What is what's the element? Yeah. The audience. Honest, honestly, I think it's it's the music for me. Absolutely, the music and the women in the group getting to sing alongside such talented singers and Tara on the fiddle. It is just every night that we sing live, I'm like, oh my God, this is what I get to do for a living. Like, it's a pinch me moment, you know? So I think it really is the Irish music that first drew me in. And then of course the group itself and the women in it. The touring life is a bonus and getting to see so many incredible different places is just like the icing on the cake. Yeah, and I'm, I mean, I was watching some of your clips earlier this morning, and you are all just supremely talented. It genuinely sounds recorded when we hear you sing, when we hear the fiddle involved. I mean, it, it's it's truly incredible the fact that you guys are able to pull this off. You women are able to pull this off. It's wonderful. Now, for somebody sitting at home this morning who's saying to themselves, "Okay, maybe I've heard of Celtic Woman uh, in the past because they have come to town before," what could an audience member expect if this is the first time they're coming out to see the show oh it's such an incredible show with this being the 20th anniversary as well if it's a show that you've never seen now is the time to come and see it there's new music as well as the old music so it's a really fresh take on the entire show with the original elements in there as well and there's something for everyone for all ages i love to see children in the audience as well um it's a really uplifting show and you'll definitely leave with a little hop in your step and you'll feel <laughs> you'll feel like you've escaped the outside world for an hour or two and just thoroughly enjoyed the live music on the stage. I love that. I love especially I the uh, the hop in your step. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank yes, you so yes. much for your time this morning. I really appreciate it and wish you nothing but the best of luck tonight on the stage here in Rochester. If you at home are interested in attending the show, we will put all of this information and much more on our website, foxrochester.com, after the show this morning. Emma, thank you again. Break a leg tonight, my friend. Take care. Thank you so much. I'll see you tonight, Rochester. Bye. We will be right back.